All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of Justin Cameron's Epic Awesome Instant Reviews. Can you handle it? On this episode, we have the awesome OTHA 4K sports camera, 16 megapixel Wi Fi waterproof helmet camera, uh, 2 inch screen, 1080p, 60 frames per second action camera with 900 milliamp hour battery, and it's blue. And by the way, it doesn't just do 60 frames per second. I believe it has a slow motion mode that can actually record at 120 frames per second at a reduced uh, resolution. So that's uh, something really cool. All right, well, let's get this thing apart. But before we do, let's get some pictures of the box. This is my first 4K camera I have received, and I might be doing all my future videos in 4K. Uh, the thing is, is that, um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload uh, 4K videos to the internet, um, and that might be the restriction right there because I've got DSL, and I need faster internet service, um, so I don't know if I'll be uploading 4K videos or not. At least this video should be 4K. Maybe some of my videos will be 4K. I would like them all to be, um, and this might get me started with that. So let's get this thing open and check it out. As you can see, I brought my mount with me, my chest mount, so we can, you know, try this out. I've, I've already uh, done some regular 1080p video with this camera um, because of that fear, of course, of of uh, having the video files be too large and stuff. And I also wanted to see what it would be like, you know, because uh, they take up less space on my hard drive and stuff like that, having them in, uh, in 1080p. And so um, I, I wanted to record some video like that and see what it would be like if I did it in the 1080 um, so let's get another picture really quick and then I'm going to dive into all this, okay? Like I said, I've already taken it out. There's a 64 gigabyte micro SD card in there that I put in there. Um, so I've already tested it. It's fully charged. It wasn't when I got it. Um, so just let me know. Uh, looks like it comes with a little... Oh, no, this is interesting. It comes with a USB LED thing. I don't know what this is um, or why it's in here if it was an accident or what it seems to be a bonus item plug into USB port uh, power bank laptop all of the USB devices 5 volts 1.2 watts size so this I don't know how this got in the box um, this was not listed as a bonus item or being in the box but this came in the box I don't know if I should take a picture of this or not because then Amazon might be upset and say it's not supposed to come with it or something I don't know anyway um, so we got all kinds of accessories here we got all kinds of mounts and what's really good about this is I've already got that like 40 or 80 mount sit, uh, kit that they sent me so now what I can do is I can take all of these mounts and throw them in the same bag and uh, looks like we have a little USB cable here for this and another mount and another mount, I, I don't know what all these mounts are, to be honest. Um, and then there's these little zip ties, if you want to zip tie something, which I think maybe that's what that mount's for. And then we've got stick-on mounts, um, we've got some sort of a extender mount thing, like a, so you can change the angle. Um, and we've got another one, and I think that's so you can change it to 90 degrees from what it is and this uh, double stick adhesive and then there's like a wire to get the double stick adhesive off that's what it looks like to me okay and a white cloth for something and an extra um, back screen cover thing door in case the other one you know isn't waterproof anymore and then uh, a little power brick to charge it with We've got um, here an action camera manual, which might tell us something about the mount. I don't know. I also don't know how to hook this up with the Wi-Fi um, thing with the app. So I think I'm going to have to uh, to look that up here. So we've got camera illustration. Um, I was hoping maybe there would be like a thing here for the app or something. So there's it's shown what these what these mounts can do here. I'm going to have to try it out because I don't know much about them. But, I mean, there's some of these I know a lot about, some of them I don't. So I'm going to put the ones that I do know about back in here. Okay. Um, ah, before I do, somebody wants a picture. So let's take a picture of all the stuff here that's scattered on the table, uh, except the USB thing that probably wasn't supposed to come to the box. Okay. And take a picture of that. So like I said, the YouTube, the Amazon police are very picky. Um, 
You know, actually, on the way here, I had to go get something, and on the way here, an undercover cop was following me, and I don't think he was after me. I just, he was following me, and I pulled over and let him over, and I don't know what they think about that, because I know what the what they look like. But, anyway, here we go. So, we got, uh, we got this thing, and they showed the camera going into it, which it does. It snaps in without the case on it. And then we've got this, which appears to go on this mount. Um, like this, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. So, yeah. So now you can put the camera in here and clip it on something if that's what you want to do. I don't know. It's a very strange uh, mount. And it has the screws on both sides. So you can mount the camera in either direction. And you can any way you want to. So it's a very versatile mount. Um, little strap things, Velcro stuff, all kinds of great little stuff here, you know, to use with this camera. So my question is, how do I get this to work with the Wi-Fi with my phone? That's that's a question I have. So uh, we probably need more detailed pictures of the actual camera because somebody out there on the internet wants them. So let's let's go ahead and do that really quick. These won't be 4K photos for sure because. I have to upload these photos to the internet, and if I have to upload them in very high format, um, I have a problem. Oh, wow, this is not in here right, by the way. This uh, little guy, I didn't have it in the door shut right. Um, and so anyways, here it is, let's get a little picture. And we'll turn it around. I left a little film on here. And then you turn it up like this, and you see what the SD card is in it and everything. I don't know if the Amazon police are going to hate that or not. They they might. They, they get after me all the time. At least they don't write me tickets. That's nice. Well, maybe that's what those emails are. Maybe they write me tickets. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, so here it is. Nice little camera. I love it. Okay, let's put it back in its little shell before it gets in trouble or something. Something bad happens. Um, okay, so we'll shut this up. And then we put the little back on here and we pull it shut. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it right this time. You got a little slide the little button and it just pops apart. And then, um, so the front is the power, the top is an OK button, and then there's some selection buttons on the side to do some things. And so that's how it works, and it has the standard GoPro mount, so you can just, uh, if you take the mount off, actually I don't have to because I've got that kind of a mount on here. So you can actually just take the included mount here and put it down. Come on, there we go, and then you just unscrew the little thing to adjust it and get the angle you want. I like this one better because, well, it works better. How's that? Um, this is the one I got with my other kit, so I think I'm going to be using that one with this camera. But you know, for right now, I might just end up tripoding this thing because, um, because I'm going to be making more videos in here with this, including in this video, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end up putting this um, camera on a tripod mount instead, and let's let's see if we can unclick the uh, side here, put you back in the kit, and like I said, I have a bag that has a whole bunch of these mounted that I can probably just stuff this in. Um, let's see if I can find a tripod mount in here other than this one, because I don't want to use that one. I want to use um, the actual GoPro. Where are we at? Did we get one in the kit? I think I thought we did. I thought there was a tripod. Is that, is that what this is? No, this is not tripod mount. Okay. Um. Okay, so it appears that other than uh, this guy, you don't get a tripod mount. So if you want to use this on a tripod in this format, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to be forced to um, to do something different. So I, I'm going to have to go get the other little adapter out of this kit if I want to, if I want to do that. Because um, I don't want to use this one to do it, but you know... For the sake of time and patience, maybe... No, I want to keep this with this camera. I want to keep this 
case on this camera so I don't lose it. That's what I want to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and get the little mount. Um, put this one back on here. And I'm going to go get the... Uh, come on. How did you go on here? There. And I'm going to go get the mount for this... Uh, for this guy so I can put him on the tripod the way I want to and uh, then I'll be back here and we'll be recording in 4k and we'll try that out and then I'm going to be making a 4,000 subscriber video soon because I just got 4,000 subscribers and so I will um, which time you see this video probably be more than that but uh, I just broke my 4,000 so I'm going to I'm going to be making the 4k video to celebrate So now if I wanted to, I could use three different camera angles to do three. Come on, you box. Work right. I could do three different angles and uh, in my videos from now on if I wanted to. Although I don't know what angles I would use. Get in there. Because, um, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what angles I would use because... Um, because everything. Well, let's do the selfie really quick before I go any further because we need a selfie. Uh, flip this around. Take this like this. And where's my button? Here it is. Button. Okay, ready, set, selfie time. I hope these turn out good because there's a lot of reflection from the screen. So now we are recording in 4K video. I don't know if you can see me very well or how this is turning out. I, I think we need to like up a little bit. I don't know. I, just, I don't feel right with that at that angle. I think it needs to be. Yeah, I think it needs to be like this. Now I feel like I'm looking into the camera. I don't know. I guess we'll go back and look at the film later. Uh, but uh, anyway, so it's in a little waterproof case right now. So whatever you're hearing, the sound is going through the waterproof case. And uh, you see me here, so this is great. I actually think I like the included uh, tripod mount that came with it better because I think, I could be wrong, I know thinking is dangerous, but I think that I can actually plug, um, that I can plug the camera in and record at the same time uh, with it outside of the plastic box that's in right now. So I think we'll try that too in just a moment, okay? And we'll see what that's like. Alright, so we're recording in 4K and I have the camera plugged into power, which I think is impressive because now I don't have to look at the battery going dead while I'm recording like with my other camera. And it is a lot closer because it doesn't have the zoom, but you know, I think it's working pretty well. There's my phone. You can see it there. I don't know. You guys tell me, should I use this from now on and make 4K videos for all my review videos? Um, and what do you think of this camera? Is it any good? I, I think so far it's a great camera. Now it seems to me that when I record using this camera, I'm checking to see if everything looks straight and level. I'm not sure. Um, but no, when I record using this camera, it seems to record in like 15 minute uh, increments at a time. I think maybe I need a little extension cord for it or something. I'm not sure if I have a longer uh, USB cable here or not for that thing because it's... Uh, it needs a really long micro USB uh, or mini or whatever it is um, in order to work on there. See like that right there. Yeah, that's what it needs. Yeah, this is long. I think this is longer. So I think I'm going to be using this cable on it. I'll put the other one away um, because uh, I like keeping the cameras plugged in while I'm recording. But uh, anyways, and then for some strange reason it came with this bonus light, which we might as well take a look at as long as we're making the video. Okay, let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, I need to replace it. I need to replace it with that one. Um, the, the cable that came with it, as far as I know, is a nice little cable. I haven't even tried it, but it's, uh, it's not long enough for what I want to do, so I think I'm going to be using this one. Um, 
Anyway, but at least now the camera, I can take it out, I can put it on my bike, I can do whatever I want to with it, which is nice. So yeah, so here's the little light, and uh, so it's in right here. Okay, and it's just a light, that's what it is. So, you know, it's a very bright light, uh, compared to a lot of lights I've had, it's brighter than those solar lights, I think, that go on your steps. Um, but anyway, that came in the box. I think this might be good for like my emergency kit with my laptop and stuff. I might stick this in there um, just to have um, a light. I don't know. But anyways, um, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you just bless you. Please click those links in the description of the video, okay? And uh, please consider giving to our Patreon and make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com. www.ChristianCourts.com. It's in the link in the description. Alright.